Okay, so what I've picked up, the scene that really always grabs me is when the children are upstairs listening on the floor and the wicked stepmother's downstairs and saying, saying to the father, I know what we're going to do. We're going to take them out and we'll give them a piece of bread and we've got no choice. And dad sat in his armchair, got his head in his hands and thinking, feeling hugely under pressure. Like, I've, you know, I've got to do this. I, I, what, I, what choice have I got? Because my wife went out, give me any other choice. Okay, so I sort of jumped from there to the bits in between. The bits that I picked up was the bits in the forest where the, where the second journey out, where Hansel and Gretel have been out, scattered the breadcrumbs, and then the birds have picked them all up. So, you know, and I, I, I imagine the forest has been quite magical and enchanting, quite beautiful. Not a scary place, but quite sort of almost fairy-like and enchanting. So it's, it's quite a pretty, pretty place. Uh, and then of course, because the birds have eaten all the breadcrumbs, the children are then stuck back in the forest and they spend the night there and fall fast asleep. Yeah, the owl. And, yeah, there's a little owl in the corner. Uh, so this is, this is afterwards and they like spend the night in the forest. Uh, whether they had a fire or not, I don't know. They probably didn't the second time because they, they woke up. Uh, next morning, no. and then of course they come upon the beautiful cottage made of sweets, or the gingerbread cottage, as I, I sort of imagine it as a gingerbread house. Uh, so this is after they've been to the gingerbread house, they've started eating, and of course the witch has thrown uh, Gretel, Hansel. Hansel, I always get them the wrong way around, uh, into the cage, she's been fattening him up, and she's had that, that's it, I've had enough, I'm not waiting any longer, we're gonna, I'm gonna eat you. And it sends Gretel off to start boiling the, the cauldron of water, ready to, to boil Hansel. Uh, and that's as far as I got with that. Cool. I never got as far as a white duck. <laughs> <laughs> no white duck. Uh, a little white duck. So there's, there's a, a, an array of ideas and thoughts, and some very different ones as well that we had, weren't there? Like, and it just goes to show how people have very different views on how things should be done, could be, not should be. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, because I struggled with getting around the window panes in a gingerbread cottage, because it just doesn't look right. <laughs> So, yeah. so you never to, ever see a gingerbread people. cottage with round window panes. No, no, I've never ever seen a gingerbread cottage. Have you? I've never bought them. Come on. You've been walking around the supermarket at Christmas, bought them hideous gingerbread cottages with the icing that never go together. I didn't know there was such a thing. I think Lidl, but Lidl's Aldi, sold. I bet they're selling them. Aldi and Lidl's I've have always sold, sold them. The kind of places, and so. now, the, now the bit of the supermarkets have started following the supermarkets last couple of years. So this Christmas, we can have gingerbread cottages. What I did think, what I did notice is that we both had it, but what I really liked, what I really liked about Chris's ideas, my favourite thing about Chris's ideas was the forest, mm. the fact that he's got these lovely fairy, and I think there's lots of really good opportunities for beautiful light areas of sparkly fairiness in the forest. The other thing I liked was where he's got um, this one because it's got a sad moon and I thought of having a moon with moods like scared or angry yeah. and I thought maybe that would be a nice touch for the moon to be this presence that's always looking on and that's responding like the to the story. Yeah, like in the mighty bush, but more scary. I had Hansel and Gretel all cuddled up as yeah. well. Sleeping together. Yeah. Didn't have an owl. I like the owl. Mm. It's all being owl. Yeah. So. We could have, of course, just have big owl eyes, couldn't we? Yeah, big peering out. Yeah. Just eyes peering out like a Scooby Doo. Yeah, just a couple of big eyes. Yeah. Bats. Head coming out the window Ooh. and then sliding yeah. back in again. Ah, yes. I liked that. And I liked the thought that I didn't draw about doing horrible things 
in the house. Of course, I haven't. I've got a sweet house, not a gingerbread house, but we can scrap so that out. So this, or Becky can make her mind. When, up. The, when the witch keeps. Yeah, I like that. I like the, I like that way. She's checking the finger, and she's all bony, and it's all yeah. bony. So it, that that could even be a, a bone, couldn't it? Yeah. Then just like yeah. Giving it a squeeze. But she, uh, if we did a house like this, and I'm not saying we should do a house like this instead of the gingerbread house, it could have bones in there with yeah. the sweets. That'd yeah. be really kind of good. And we could do like with the uh, fir tree as well in terms of putting acetate colours behind it, so yeah. it glows through in different colours to yeah. just to represent the sweets going on. Yeah. So if, we, if like the lollipops did that with acetate and then used Sharpie pen, you'd get that yeah. image, wouldn't you? So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. This could actually be really, My really, really beautiful. This could be really beautiful. The water, yeah. the moonlight glinting on the water, and the moon actually looking happy at last. Um, and stars. That could actually be quite beautiful. See, I like the idea. Wasn't that daytime though? Uh, well, in that case it'd be sunshine and flowers. Sunshine and flowers. Yeah. I like the idea. Because, it, because the duck is such a bizarre mm -hmm. item in the story. And it, when, when you hear the story, you have this vision of a duck sort of this big. Yeah. That you sort of straddle. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. And you can you imagine these children with their feet dangling in the water. But I actually like the idea of it being an enormous duck. <laughs> or actually, is it that the children are very tiny on yeah. the back of the duck? Could be, couldn't it? So that they climb onto the back of the duck. Yeah. Or if it, in my head, it was like one of those fairground rides. It, it turned into yeah. a fairground ride thing that they sat in. That's why both could get in, you see. But obviously, in real life, only one child could fit. Yeah, well, we all know that it's going to carry okay, one shot at a yeah. time. Exactly. It does describe him as little duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, they must be tiny then. Exactly. The children who say how big exactly. people are. Yeah. Children in this story are very, very small. That's because they're undernourished, obviously, yeah. because of the dearths. Yes. It's constant dearth. That's it. So hopefully we've, uh, we've got some ideas worth... And John on guitar. <laughs> With his gingerbread guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we need for Hans the Grapple. Wow. It's like a little discordant guitar. <laughs> and cut.